Hello, I'm Mike Brooks. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from 2 News Oklahoma. Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen got a boat tour to this morning uh, to look at projects underway at the Port of Muskogee and the War Memorial Park. This is home of the USS Batfish. Among the major projects underway right now, a $12 million rail project and a $1.5 million Batfish Road project. Tulsa leaders came together this morning to give an update on plans for a new North Tulsa neighborhood. Kirkpatrick Heights encompasses 56 acres of Tulsa Development Authority owned land. It's just north of the downtown area. In January of last year, the city put out a call for a design consultant to help develop the addition and the Greenwood site master plan. Today, they announced that urban development company Wallace Roberts Todd got the job. So where we stand today? may very well be one of the most important projects to date in Greenwood's history because what happens with this land could greatly impact the economic, social, and political future of the Greenwood community. Project leaders say their goal is to preserve the legacy of Black Wall Street while creating a safe area for pedestrians and more accessible transit. Ambulance crews are feeling the effects of the coronavirus surge. Uh, last week it received uh, 82 potential COVID calls in one day alone. That call increase and a lack of available beds are having an impact on getting patients care. Some patients are having to wait anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours or more once they get to the hospital. Let's talk temperatures and rain with meteorologist Clint Boone. All right, thank you very much, Mike. This afternoon, looks like through the mid-afternoon hours, we're going to be in good shape. Late afternoon, could be a few pop-up showers and storms with highs close to 90. Still keep that rain gear handy. It's not going to rain every hour of the day, but there will be rain chances through at least Friday and then lower rain chances for the weekend, much hotter next week. All right, thanks for watching. We'll have another look at your headlines coming up soon.